Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm going to teach you about the evolution of the modern-day cat. Meet the cat's oldest ancestor, the myocoid. The myocoid lived an estimated 42 million years ago. They primarily walked on the ground, although they were well-equipped to climb trees, as you can see in the picture. Relatively little else is known about their habitat. In 1894, mycoid fossils were found in the White River bed of Utah. The fossils indicate that although they were capable of climbing, they mostly walked on the ground, similarly to current day cats. Mycoids had the adaptation of flexibility for climbing. This ancestor is called Feliformia. It lived 34 million years ago. They were suited to the climbing lifestyle, so they climbed in trees since they lived in the forest. There is very little information on their habitat. Fossils have been found in Europe. They had smaller brains for their body size, and their binocular vision was not as good as modern carnivoreans. They also had retractile claws. They had specialized shearing teeth, which were used to slice meat. They had highly mobile limbs for climbing. This is Pseudolaris. It lived 12 million years ago. The cat crossed over the Bering Land Bridge that connected Siberia and Alaska. The cats could be found in Europe, Asia, and North America after the migration. Fossils indicate that there were about 12 species of the cat. The cats migrated back and forth from Asia to the Americas. As a result, they evolved into a variety of species who lived in all continents with the exceptions of the Arctic, Antarctica, and Australia. Fossils have been found that look like the modern house cat, which are as old as 12 million years. They had long tails, which were used for warmth, not balance. They had agile limbs for climbing. This is Felis Silvestris. It was around 8,000 years ago and is still alive today. It was brought to the island of Cyprus by humans. Archaeologists found an 8,000-year-old cat's jawbone on the island of Cyprus in 1983. Since it would be unlikely that humans would want to bring wild cats with them to the island, scientists theorized that domestication happened more than 8,000 years ago. In 2004, another fossil was discovered on Cyprus, which was deliberately buried with a human. This made scientists think that domestication actually happened 12,000 years ago. They also theorized that when agricultural societies began to flourish, cats would get rid of pests like rats in the storage places of excess food, and in return, people would be happy for the pest control. People favored the cats with the more docile traits, so these were the cats that breeded and eventually produced the breeds of house cats we have today. Scientists studied cats' DNA and discovered that all cats have the common ancestor of the Middle Eastern wildcat, Fila Silvestris. The pattern on their coats was good for blending into the environment for hunting. You've probably already guessed that this is the modern day cat. Its scientific name is Felis catus. Felis catus are found in human homes all over the world. The popularity of the house cat as a pet continues to grow. Felis catus has specialized teeth and retractile claws that are perfect for hunting although indoor cats don't get out much. They are agile and highly coordinated. The tongue of a cat is coarse, making it easier to groom itself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The sources are in the description.